Give me some directions to get to you, to get to you. Ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we got connection. I think about you. You're on my mind. On my mind. So this is the road to Mariba, guys. And um, it's got nice, windy bends. If you like taking bends, if you've got a car that can handle pretty well, oh, it's... A really nice drive, trees, real tall trees, lush green all around you, very, very scenic. But yeah, Mariba is the largest town in the Tablelands. It's uh, not really rainforest, it's more open savanna, and it's pretty well known for um, its uh, coffee plantations. A lot of Australia's crop is grown right there in Mariba, and also famous for its mangoes. So this is where we are, guys, Mariba which is roughly an hour west of Cairns. And we're gonna cover these areas which make up the tablelands. All right, guys, we're at the coffee works. We need to get caffeinated because we've got a pretty big day ahead of us. I just wanna say that one thing you will notice when you get to the tablelands is that there's no humidity. So if you come in the wet season and you can't handle the heat from the coast, Come to the Tablelands. So there's more than just coffee here, guys. There's um, chocolate. They make their own chocolate liqueurs. We'll go inside and we'll show you what's in there. The smell. Is this chocolate? Yeah. Oh my God. This is my the first thing when you enter in, into this little chocolate shop is the smell of fresh chocolate. Hey. <laughs> I'm like a little kid in a chocolate shop. I am a little kid in a chocolate shop. Enjoy to share. Oh man, this is amazing. Oh, I think we have to get some chocolate. Yeah, yeah. I'm you leave without anything. No, no, we're going to get some chocolate. So this is a coffee shop, guys. And behind me, have a look at this. Look at this old school coffee machine. So we're about to do the tour. That was the prices. And that includes the coffee tasting. Chocolate tasting. Chocolate tasting and the museum that they have here. Okay, so th these ones are the local coffees that are made and brewed in the tablelands. And right here. Yeah, yeah, right, right here. here. These are your decaf, this is the decaf. This here is all of the um, the overseas brands. And these are blends of the overseas and the local blended together in this coffee works. That's right. And, on and over through here, we've got the, they call them the dessert coffee. So because they're all like, flavored. They're all being flavored. Chocolate, vanilla, hazelnut, mmm, Irish cream. And you can taste all these. You can taste all these, you get your little cup and you can go through and get yourself caffeinated all you want. And not only that, there's chocolate. We're gonna taste chocolate. Look at this. Oh, let me come on that side. Look at all these chocolates. Mmm, cappuccino. Some fresh milk. Mmm. The chocolate is magic. The coffee, if you're a black coffee drinker like me, this is divine. Okay, I haven't even started on the chocolates yet. Alright, so this is how it works, okay? You've got your little chocolates here. Now, i am got a black coffee, okay? And some little chocolates through here, little taste tests. What it is, what you do, is you put a little coffee bean in your mouth and you take a sip of your black coffee. It melts in your mouth, okay? It melts, it's just so nice. And that's how you do chocolate coffee tasting. Wow. All right, so we're just entering the museum that they have here. And, oh, wow. All right, all right, oh, have a look. Coffee. For the coffee lovers, look at all these old machines. Look at this bad boy. That's the granddaddy. Going out of my mind. Crazy 
We're just leaving the coffee works. What a fantastic experience it was. It sure was. Um, yeah, we had plenty of coffee, so we're fully caffeinated. We tasted the liqueurs. We saw the museum. What a place. This is, this is a good place to check out. Um, it's $19 to get in, but we got, well, I think they, they give you, well, they gave us these $5 vouchers, so we both got $5 off the price. So we paid $28 to go in and you know, taste the chocolate, the coffee, the liqueurs, and, and the museum. They so they encourage you to come in, so they give it to you. Yeah. They've got like this Coffee World money, as they call it, and they give it to you. Coffee World money. Yeah, and they give it to you, and you, they make it cheaper for you to get in. So the whole experience is really nice. Yeah, it was value. Yeah, it was value, it. guys. The chocolate is amazing. As soon as you walk into that shop, you smell that chocolate aroma, and oh, you get really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> So we're on the way out of Mariba and we've come across this place, the Heritage Museum. So we've stopped, we're gonna have a look and um, check this bloke out, man. That's one big bull. All right guys, so we're in the Heritage Museum and it doesn't actually cost anything to come through. All they ask is just to give a donation on the way out. So. We we'll would definitely be doing that. It's very interesting. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Oh, so, sorry, buddy. So we've just left the Heritage Museum. We're heading to Atherton. We're gonna see what we can find in Atherton. Just a quick note, what you need to do is uh, give them a donation at the at the end when you walk out, just to help them out. And yeah. You've also got a cafe. There's also a cafe there, yeah. If Beverages, you food, whatever have you like. Food or a coffee. It's got an information center and, and a lot of history on Mariba. Alright guys, we are in Atherton and look at this car behind me. That thing there is the Crystal Caves. That's where we're going right now. Something interesting to do in Atherton. And have a look at this. We're inside the caves and this is one man's private collection, eh, Rene? That's, that's this man right here. And he built all this and it's all here to share it with you. So many things from around the world. Wow, it's quite amazing actually, eh? Look at all these. What do you think so far? Speechless. We actually paid $100 for both of us, so that's 50, and that's with the geo that you get the crack at the end. Um, but you don't have to get that. You can just do the cave tour and it'll cost 25 or prices start from 25 for adults so yeah that's the prices guys look what they've done with it
Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, another one. Yeah. Awesome! Wow, look at that. Oh, yeah. Wow. And white calcite, which is the nice. glassy. Nice. Yeah. Wow. All right, guys. So yeah, that was quite amazing. We actually liked. We we enjoyed that. Um, something different. We got to crack two geodes that were 44 million years old. So you don't do that every day. Even if it hurts for time, we were never meant to fight. Something at the finish line. Stay, stay, stay. Even if we're short on time, at least we'll never wonder why. This love is so hard to find. Stay, stay, stay. We've checked into the Tenaru Lake Resort. We've got the car park there. This is our room. I'll show you around walk in it's very nice guys that's laundry facilities you come down here a couple of steps and that's the kitchen it's very nice look at that beautiful it's beautiful guys living area um, we'll go out there in a minute I'll show you look there's upstairs this is the bedroom we got a one bedroom um, I think these this might be a second bedroom but the doors are locked so but look at this bedroom it's massive this is like a king room. Through here is a bathroom. It's very nice. Look, we've got a TV as well. Beauty. Look at this balcony. Look at this view. And behind me, you can see Lake Tinaru. So that's Lake Tinaru. We're surrounded by the lake. Price-wise, we paid $418 for two nights. Because it's the off-season, They've given us a third night free, so that was one of the specials. So we're going to take advantage of that and we're going to explore this area because there's so many things to see in the tablelands, so many natural wonders. We'll do a tour of the resort pretty soon and um, I'll cut that in. While Chris is making something for us to eat, I'll just walk around the resort. Look at this place. It's very nice, guys. Very nice. Very modern. It's very new. This is where the swimming pool is. Beautiful swimming pool. It's very nice and very inviting. And you got a little pergola up there. We can walk through here. That used to be the restaurant over there. And now it's a function center. But yeah, walking up here, look at this. Tinaru Lake Resort. Very nice resort guys. We're happy with it. Um, we're gonna enjoy our stay here. We've based here for the next few days so we can really explore the tablelands. So Chris is just preparing some dinner. What do we got here? Chicken with relish and um, feta cheese and sun-dried tomatoes, but I'm gonna add to it. We've also got a fireplace. Both upstairs and downstairs is fully air-conned. Uh, that's gonna be our work table. I really have no complaints about this place. Guys, even though there's no restaurant, I just want to add, you can get frozen meals. You can see them, they're right here. Chef, the chef does them, so. But we did go and do the groceries and we've got like food, we've stocked up the fridge. And that, allow, that allows us to make dinner and breakfast and everything else we need. If you do come in the off season, just keep in mind, a lot of the restaurants in the area are closed. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, a lot of them are shut. They open Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, so the hours are limited there, um, which kind of limits your options. But if you do your homework and look around, you'll be able to get around that. 